Hello all, and uh, today I just wanted to show you how I'm going to rehandle this axe. Uh, this is a uh, Holtz Brooks axe, if I can get the logo in there. It's a um, pretty old one from Sweden, about uh, 1.2 kilos, which is about two and three quarter pounds. So it says on the stamp, again, if you can see it in the shadows. So as you can see there, it's been snapped off. I need to remove the head, but I want to try and retain the wedge. Maybe use that. I have other wedges too, but I'd like to try and keep it in shape. So I need to drill it out carefully. And then I'm going to use a uh, pre-made handle. This is the pre-made handle, uh, just from a regular kind of hardware store. It is a um, spotted gum, and it's a 700 millimeter. Not quite sure what the length of that's at 24 inches, I think, something like that. Perhaps 30. Anyway, it is a little rough in places, and I'll need to sand it. Um, but I'll uh, do that while I'm preparing the uh, axe head. So I'll show you that as well. Let's get the uh, wood out of the old axe head. So I've uh, managed to clear out the wood from the eye of the, and I managed to recover the wedge. I'm not sure if I'll use it again, but we shall see. At least I have it out. So now I'm going to get the uh, rust off this. Um, and rather than grind it off, I want to try and preserve it a little. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, soak it in some white vinegar for a day maybe two, and that'll convert the rust and allow me to clean it off nice and clean. So uh, we'll just put it in a rust bath now. Just enough to cover it. And then we'll uh, put a lid on it and put it aside for a couple of days and see how we go. Meanwhile, I'm uh, going to sand the neck down a little while I have time. So it's nicely crafted. It's really a, a thin, um, feels nice in the palm of your hand, nice and thin. You can grab hold of it. But there's some rough places where it hasn't been finished too nicely. So I'm just going to sand those down and get it ready for um, putting it back in the uh, axe head. I also need to uh, cut a slot in here and then I'll do that a bit later. So it's the next day now, and we're going to see how our um, vinegar treatment of the axe head has gone. So I can see that a lot of the rust has loosened up on the surface. I'm just going to rinse it off and then give it a bit of a wire brush and see how it looks. So I've uh, cleaned it off with a wire brush as much as I can get all that loose rust out of it and off of it. And I can see a few things now. I don't know if it shows up on the video, but I can see remnants of blue paint, which is pretty standard for uh, these Hulks Brooks axes. Um, I don't think I have any blue paint to paint it with. I was just going to bring it back to the metal finish, perhaps black, but probably just the metal finish. Um, the top has been beaten up a bit and if you look at it in profile, 
it's crowned over a little so I'm going to straighten out the sides maybe flatten the top a bit but also you can see along here there's a line where the original heat treatment on hardening the edge was done so that's pretty close to an inch so there's plenty to work with there and it's still actually got a fairly decent edge on it I won't have to do much to bring that back so anyway it's in great shape I just have to clean it up probably use a, um, a belt sander so we'll do that next So I just finished uh, sanding on the belt sander as much as I can to get the decent amount of rust off and get some of the surface marks out. There's still a, quite a few around though, but I want to not go too deep. I want to keep the maker's mark and the, the weight stamp. I can see now it says uh, 1.2 and two and three quarter pounds. I don't want to make it too fancy. It's really just going to be a bush axe in my car in the back of the Jeep, but um, may as well try learn something along the way.
it says uh, oil the wedge before inserting. This is the wedge that came out of the axe rather than use a timber one because this is hardwood. Um, I don't want to put a soft wood and it's not going to fit anyway and this will really just spread it enough to keep it in there. It's a, it's a very tight fit so not really too worried about putting in a softwood wedge. This this um, this wedge kept it from shifting for many years. As you saw I had to remove the axe head from the from the shaft that was broken inside of it, so. So we're just gonna bang this in gently. going to get a um, screwdriver or something slim just to push it down further into that. So you can see the wedge is quite away in now. I'm gonna get the flappy sander and sand it off nice and square and trim this with a knife to make that smooth. So we're just gonna trim back that curl. As the axe head is forced onto the shaft, it shaves a curl as it comes up. And then you know it's tight. There's nothing there. <sighs> you can see in there, it's beautiful and tight on each of the cheeks. So now I've just got to tidy this up, dress it up a bit, oil it all, and should be ready to go soon. So now I can see a nice even top. I'll put linseed oil under that to help it swell up as well. And all the marks that I used, all, the, all my hammer marks have been ground off so it's nice and clean and shiny. So now we'll just uh, oil it up. I like to uh, give it quite a lot on the first go to let it all soak into the open pores. You know, the linseed oil is there to protect the wood as well as make it look nice. It does look nice, but the idea is it gets in the open pores and it helps clog them up so they don't dry out. And this is a nice, slim axe handle. It's really nice to, you know, you, could, you, can, you can imagine how you're gonna swing it. It's just, it's the perfect kind of size for your hand. And um, nice and slim though, like, like when you swing a really nice baseball bat or a cricket bat, 
you just know that's the perfect balance, the perfect shape, the perfect weight that will help get the best value for your swing, I guess. And when you're chopping wood, the more you can get out of a swing, the happier you'll be. So that's how she looks at the moment. Pretty nice, if I do say so myself. And here is the axe mask I just got for it, just to finish it off, protect the blade and also protect me. So it, uh, it's a four inch, which is the width of the blade, and I've been soaking the leather in some water because it was a bit tight when it was dry, so I've been soaking it, and then I've clipped it on and I'll leave it in place so that it dries out. So that's it. All ready for the wild. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, how to rehandle a axe head. Um, I really appreciate your uh, watching the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks and I'll see you out in the bush. Bye for now.